y'all it's me pretty witty 77 if you are a witty then welcome back to my channel but if you're new here what's up today is a very special video it is my very first amazon haul i think that a lot of us stand together in saying that we're kind of addicted to amazon i don't know if it's like the prices you know everything is like affordable well, not everything a lot of things are more affordable on amazon and you also get your item in one to two days. I think the standard is two-day shipping, but if you live in a like air, a certain area, you can get it the same day, next day, which, you know, that's me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video. Now this haul is gonna go so many different ways. It's gonna go from like homey things to like personal things to even clothing items and it's gonna get real techy at the end. So yeah, and if you wanna know um, where to buy these products, I'm gonna leave a direct link in the description box. So make sure you check that out. We're gonna kick it off with like a kitchen thing. So the first item I wanna tell you about is this stainless steel cleaner and polish. Um, what it does is if you have like stainless steel, my microwave and my uh, refrigerator is stainless steel and I don't care what you use when you try to buff out those, it, nothing works, okay? So I was able to snag this stainless steel cleaner um, from Amazon and I love it. My refrigerator looks so polished. There's no fingerprint. My microwave is just like, okay. If you have stainless steel appliances, consider getting this. I probably could have got it from the store, but like I found it on Amazon. So while we're talking about kitchen appliances, I got this glass top stove cleaner. Um, and what did it, I'm pretty sure I could have found this in stores, but this actually, this package came with the cleaner, which is about 10 ounces. It actually came with a little scraper in, in case you wanna get some spots that's a little bit too tough. And also it came with this little scrubbing pad. It's kind of dirty but it's safe to use with the uh stove i know you just can't be scratching you know the glass top stove with anything so these are safe products to use on the stove in assistance you know in combination with this i also picked up this little pan scraper you know sometimes you just ugh, i don't know it's something with like products and like water in my nails when i'm trying to get a scraper pot like clean these little things right here it's like I, I think it's said to be like cast iron cleaners where you just need to scrape sometimes i i ain't gonna lie i've gotten forks before just to like scrape that little extra just just won't come out um now i have these it actually comes with a pack of two and these were really really cheap like two dollars or something so definitely a good find for me and for all my wine people out there i did purchase a wing uh bottle opener i've i got a corkscrew oh like it's not a corkscrew yeah it's a corkscrew like waiters um opener but i don't know where it came from i had one of these before i it did not walk out of my house somebody stole it you know when you can't find certain stuff in your house you just automatically say somebody stole it somebody stole it bro but i was able to get this on amazon now when i went in the store to replace it like the actual store like my grocery store it was like ten dollars and i was like what so i was able to get this i think i paid like five for it i don't know i'm putting the prices above most likely so i was able to get this and not only did i get it it also came with a cutter you know that um the paper around the wine sometimes i'm just like picking it off and it just never comes out off clean so i got this duo i used it last night for the first time this this little thing so i put it around there I got it clean and it just popped off so clean. I don't know. I feel like I got my a bang for my book because they was just trying to overcharge me in the store. But for these, it's worth it. Now, if you've been paying close attention to my live streams uh, in particular, you know that I got my very first like house plant because I was like, girl, everything I touch is gonna die. But no, I'm I'm really experimenting and trying to be a good plant plant mom. I wanna I wanna I want them to live. I need the oxygen in my house. I need the life. So I don't know a thing about plants, y'all. I don't know. So I actually picked up this book, How to Not Kill Your House Plant. <laughs> and what I like about this book it actually has so many different kind of plants in here and it breaks it down where it's not too difficult for me to understand it but you know it's kind of simple so it also has like instructions how to properly like repot it or when you buy it what condition will it be in um how much to water each plant like it goes into detail y'all it even tells you like if the leaves are turning yellow 
for a whatever specific plant that you're on it tells you what if it needs less water if you might be overwatering it it tells you if this plant is going to be like prone to having like bugs on it it just kind of breaks it down for you know a person like me who does not know anything about plants like right now i'm looking at the spider plant it tells you like the temperature that is most good in if it needs a lot of light if it doesn't need a lot of light so if you're interested in being a plant mom kind of like me definitely pick up this book so another thing that i picked up from amazon shears i normally get my shears from a uh, salad beauty but i still saw these they were a good price they had a good review and they're cute they're like purplish kind of like they have like a little rainbowish little feel to it and actually like this little cute crystal here which is not to be like you know don't be alarmed because um a lot of people might be nervous it's gonna snag their hair but baby we here we here so we ain't off in here <laughs> Ooh, girl <laughs> i had them close but um I, I typically like to repurchase my shears just to be on the safe side a lot of people buy shears that might be a little bit more expensive because they're set to last longer be sharper longer I'd rather just keep buying them. I mean, that's just my current mind state. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to be using these as, you know, someone who likes to trim their hair a couple of times a year. Not trim, but it might, you know, a little dust on the ends. Um, so, yeah, it comes with this really cute, well, not really cute, just this plain pouch to kind of, like, keep them safe, make sure they don't rust. I kind of like this package because I don't know if a lot of them actually comes with it. Cute. I also picked up this little tongue scraper kit. Oh, girl. I'm really big on dental hygiene. Like I just, ugh, I just can't stand people who don't floss, people who don't take care of their mouths and want to put their mouths on other people. Miles, why did I say it like that? I don't know. So I got this uh, tongue scraper kit. It comes with three different types of uh, tongue scrapers. I've been using this one. Um, that's why it's kind of like cleaned and out of the pack. Um, where you just like scrape your tongue after you brush your teeth and you know, it's a hygiene, a hygiene thing. We don't want, want like white caked up on our tongues. So yeah, it comes with two other forms of like tongue scrapers. Um, for the price that you normally would pay for one in the store, you, I got the whole kit. I got a kit of three. So, so the next item that I'm going to show you is actually a girdle. Now I know y'all be like, girl, you got a girdle, but girl, I got a little love pouch too. It might be a little slight, but you know, sometimes you're a little bloated more than normal and you just need something to sculpt you together. I was able to get this with, at a really affordable price. It is a thong uh, girdle. And when I say y'all for the price that I paid, this thing here is tough like it really sucks you in for this price like victoria's secret i'm charging buku buku dollars to get uh this strength right here so i really like it um like i said <laughs> it really sucks you in uh i think it comes like in a small medium i think or a medium large i got a medium large i wish i would have just had a large but the medium large fits me good i just got i just okay I'm a curvy girl and so sometimes it takes me a minute to get this past my hips because this is so it's so tough y'all like I, I I can't like stress to you enough the quality you get in for for the amount that you pay in so yeah girdle and while we're talking about like clothing from Amazon I did purchase it wouldn't be me if I don't purchase some workout tights y'all so I got these workout tights I got like this light grayish color I want to get like different colors I'm typically a dark gray um a black or like purple or blue those those are the colors i pretty much wear so i actually got this and what i like about these workout leggings i think they're by 90 degree by reflex um they were like really really super affordable they had a lot of good reviews they got pockets y'all they have pockets on not on just one side but two sides and you might be like why would you in the pockets like are on the thigh so it's not like where the normal pocket would be why i need pockets like why do i need pockets on workout pants because this when you okay 
me. I go for runs sometimes and it's really hard to run because I don't lock my door. I got my car keys with me and I got my phone and I don't like the little phone pouch. Like that's so 2003. Like we're not wearing the pouches on our sleeves no more. So just to be able to slide my phone in here and it's a deep enough po pocket for my phone like not to fall out and I can put my keys on the other side because I usually just like tuck my keys like under the top part of like my sports bra. So no, I'm not going to be bulky up here no more. I really like these. I'm definitely going to order these in more colors. They are also squat proof. So they, okay, let me just warn you. They are a little bit high rise, but it's enough. I don't like, why do you need low rise in the gym? I want to be sucked in. I want to just be looking tight and right. So yeah, when you squat, you don't have to worry about seeing your underwear or they ride down. So yeah, um, I, <laughs> I love these pants and I would definitely recommend them to, you know, the girls who be in the gym or whatever. So I had to run and get my next item that I ordered from Amazon because I'm using it now, sis. And that is a laundry basket with rolling wheels, okay? See, my apartment, um, I have hardwood floors except for like in one room. But the way my floor plan is, is that my washing area, my washing room is opposite from where I take off my clothes. You know, usually you're taking off your clothes, you jump in the shower. So sometimes I can just, I'm guilty of like pushing my clothes in the corner of the bathroom. Hey, I live alone. Um, and they sometimes can pile up. So I was like, you know, what if I could get like a laundry basket with wheels, you know, so I can easily roll it in case it's like too heavy. Um, it's really cute. It has the word laundry on the side. I got the slim one. You can also get the bigger one. Um, the bigger one is a little bit more expensive, but I love this. Um, if you live in a place like, you know, where you have to actually go wash your clothes, it actually comes with like this little netting. You can tighten it up, sis, and you can go. So you, I don't need to use this. <laughs> I just need to keep my clothes off the floor. So I, I dump them in here. And if I have like company, I keep this in like a, the bathroom, but if I have like company, I'll just roll it into, you know, the designated area or like roll it into my closet. But I just, I have a sense of like peace <laughs> knowing that I don't have to throw my clothes like on the floor. Also, I'm going to be ordering another one of those because I'm, I'm going to try to keep like my white clothes separate from my colors and maybe I'll order another one for like lights, but definitely i'm so happy i purchased it so now we're going to get into the gadgets and the techness of this haul okay and one of my favorite things that i've been using that i totally love like <laughs> the look on my face y'all i really love this product and it's this little phone stand now this phone stand is heavy in the base it's not that heavy but it has a little weight to it so it doesn't like easily tilt um, and it's really not even a phone stand. It could double as a phone stand, but this stand right here, I think it's meant for like iPads cause it stretches out a lot. And these little red things you might look and be like, what is that? Cause somebody asked me, she was like, what, are, what is that? I was like, you know how, okay. So let me just let you guys know. So I use a lot of these. This is like the Joby uh, Gorilla little pod thingy. Um, and I sometimes clip my phone onto here. I have to slide it up like that. And I don't know, it's just kind of risky. I've broken nails trying to take this out. So, and then sometimes when you are doing this, sorry, I need to tighten it up. But sometimes when you're doing this, um, and you put it on the surface. Sometimes it can have a little tilt. You got to adjust these crazy legs every certain way, which is, I mean, it's cool for if you're like vlogging or doing, you know, other stuff like that. But I needed something that was going to be a little more stable because I feel like every time I do my live streams, which I do my live streams with my phone, I be tilting or I shake. I, I might bump the table and my, you know, everything shakes. So this stand right here, these red cords, what you do is you like pull it down a little bit and you can slide your phone in. It just ties up around your phone so I don't have to worry about like snapping that little snapping sound it just feels like your whole stuff gonna fall apart I like it this can also fit iPads like I said and I don't know I just I just really like it um also if you just don't want to um view your phone like this you can twist it to the side and you can watch it like that and it's also like I said it's on a study a sturdy, a sturdy. It's on a sturdy <laughs> base. If you need to tilt it down a little bit, you might be trying to watch it from here. It also tilts down, or if you got it on the surface, you can tilt it up a little bit. Also, it also um, extends a little higher. 
so if you like doing instagram uh live and stuff like that you, you can actually you know <laughs> see yourself in here and it's it's really sturdy it's not as uh cheap as the other ones i know you can get a knockoff like uh joby gorilla little pod thing which i do have another one but i just really wanted something that was going to be more sturdy y'all i've been getting like <laughs> compliments like people was like oh my god what is that when i show them what it is they're like i need to get me one like send me the link so definitely a good find look at how easy you can take your device out of here just by pulling and you can also pull on these so it you can do it from both ways love it i also picked up this magnetic car uh little mounts for my phone i hate and i know hate is a strong word but i hate the little uh filter like your air vent clips you clip clip it to your air vent and you can put your phone in like that it does not work for all car types. It depends on how your, your vents are in your car. Are they sideways? Are they vertical? Uh, are they horizontal? You know what I'm saying? It just all depends on your car. And I could never get anything to like stick where I could just put my phone on and feel comfortable like driving with that. So I, I, I found this because it has like a little sticky pad on the base and you uh, can stick it, literally stick it and it, it will bend is you know it's flexible wherever you want to put it and you want to put it right on your dash anywhere so where i put mine i really like it it also comes with like this magnet which i have in the back of my phone i got a clear case okay if, if you don't have a clear case you're not gonna be able to see it but it comes with it, it's like two different options it's a circle one and it's one of these um i don't really care about y'all seeing the apple logo of my phone like to me it's a way that i can see when somebody stole my phone like let me see your phone Oh, that's mine because it got that in the back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. They probably they make sense, but you um once you have it on there, you clip it like oh you just you don't clip it, you just put literally put your phone up to the base and it magnetically stays. It's a really strong magnet, so you don't have to worry about your hair your hair, your phone falling off while you drive. You can stick it like sideways, you can stick it like that, you can stick it, you know, halfway. You know what I'm saying? It's just I really like it. And if you somebody who phone <laughs> falls a lot when you drive or you can just stick it up there even you know don't use your phone when you drive you can even put it on do not disturb but time if you want to use your gps i really like this i haven't found anything that fits my car necessities like this product so so for my youtubers i also purchased this like white balance thingamajig to set like the tone of your video you don't want your um lighting to be going back and forth so when you set this hold on i gotta hold it away because it it pops out quite strong <laughs> and it's really good material too you hold it up while you're recording or you can even take a picture of it to set your white balance your your um lighting won't be going in and out it'll stay pretty much the same because you can set your white balance this is really strong like this material is really good but like I said, I have to hold it back. It comes with like this little cute pouch too. So I like. Okay, so another really techy item. If you are a YouTuber, anybody who uses your camera, you can be an Instagram or anything. If you use a camera and you have to have a battery, I got like this thing where I can put it in this battery that you can plug it in plug it into a uh, outlet so you won't have to keep recharging your batteries and recharging your batteries and recharging your batteries when your battery go dead while you film it, it just really changed the tone of the whole video so now um i just put this into you know the battery thing and i you know plug it into the wall and i don't ever have to worry about charging my battery up like who knew so y'all this is i don't know which one i like the most the phone stand or this item it is a shutter it is a like remote for your camera you can hook it up to your phone honey and uh let me just use my stand for <laughs> for an example but um a lot of people when you're trying to get the picture honey you don't have time to be trying to hold this and it just it limits your your uh range you know what i'm saying so sometimes you might just want to pull your stand up i'm gonna hold it for you know purposes turn on this it has a little switch on the side where you can turn it on i feel like it con connects through like bluetooth or something I, yeah through bluetooth so you can just get that picture 
it actually is like turned on my phone right now but yeah you can get that picture just holding your remote you might want to use a, a a stand or you know what i'm saying but this this is for the phone it's not for the camera i already have one for my camera um if you want the deeks on the one for your dslr camera i put it below i've been had this for a long time though but yeah the one for your phone is a game changer because i just hate that that look you know if, when you take your pictures and you look back at them and you can see your arm up put your arm down sis just get you a remote for your phone it works with snapchat it works with the instagram camera it works with your camera on your phone also i like this because like I said, you don't have to worry about pressing that button, but I can use my back camera. You know, with the iPhones, the back cameras are the best, but the front cameras are good too. So I can use my back camera and I know I can't like see myself, but I also can't be pressing this button back here. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of tricky. So mm, you get them crisp pictures. You ain't even got to touch the button. I really like this y'all. Highly recommend it. And last but not least, and definitely not least, because I use this daily, okay? And it is a USB port for my laptop. If you have a MacBook or probably any kind of Apple computer, probably any computer, period, you only have a limited amount of USB hookups on your computer. I got two, okay? So I got my hard drive in one. Uh, if I need to hook up, up anything else besides my mouse, because I do have like a mouse, uh, you know, external mouse and stuff. But if I use that in my hard drive, I don't have room to hook anything else up. If I want to, you know, hook something up from my computer to my camera, any kind of thing else, like it doesn't work. <laughs> so I plug this into the USB port and I have four extra ports, which you see right here, that's my, uh, my mouse. So if I want to, you know, like I said, anything else. Now what this port does not do, it does not charge. It is not like, oh, I can plug this in here and charge my headphones. It's not a charger. It's literally a connector. If you need more ports, when you're doing something, you got an external microphone you want to plug in while you, you know, edit your video, you can do that too. So I really like this port. This is a necessity for anybody who uses your laptop or tech or YouTuber. You got to have this. And that concludes my Amazon haul. Let me know how I did for my first haul ever. If you enjoyed this video or see something that you might like, if I gave you a little idea, definitely give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want more videos like this. Please leave advice down in the comment section. I'm trying to see some. Thank y'all for watching. See you guys in the next video.